Hey, welcome to Home on the Road. Here with me, Phil. I'm showing you a few things that I did, made a few changes. So, for starters, uh, let's get to it. So, my food from now on goes in here. That's all my dry food. I have my toilet right there, the orange bucket. I have a wash station. So if I want to brush my teeth or whatever, wash my body a little bit, I can use that. Could probably fit a few dishes if I clean it out properly. As you know, I have a DVD player, which I like to store underneath the bed so it doesn't move. And we all know that the bed is an extra two inches big. So that really helped uh, sleep the last time I slept in here. Uh, the first couple of nights I slept in here was really bad. Um, and of course, so I don't make a mess, I do have my tray. There is a blue theme in here. Well, it will be when hockey season starts. Uh, changes I made so I can get more clothes in here. I added a bigger dresser. So I had one in here. Uh, I had it in here before, but it didn't fit because the roof, the, the setup was too high to fit it in. But now that I've lowered it, it fits in nicely. And again, I still have space in between so I can get at it. I have all my clothes. I have some dishes, work clothes, whatnot. So that's uh, really roomy. Again, I have room to sit down. You all seen my space. There's lots of space in between the two seats here in the back. And of course, I have a smaller cooler, my wife's cooler. I'm going to use that in here where we can use the bigger cooler for the camper and of course privacy drapes instead of covering up my windows i could just use this it's high enough when i set it up right in here just tighten it up it goes up all enough that nobody can really see me so it works nice and of course because i don't have a stick it's easy to climb back in here and get to the driver's seat so if i ever had to get out which shockingly my first night i just parked down the road and I didn't have to worry about that. But I'm in the house, so we're good. So along with that, the changes. So I fixed my Blue Yeti up in here. I made a, a stand for it, so it goes all the way around. Um, so it goes around. And I have space to put other stuff in there. And then I use this container to store other things. And my junk drawer. So I got my junk drawer. Basically I have my game system. And I do have my TV still. Um, I have my electronic stuff in there. And a lot of other things down below. And of course I have some books in here. And when traveling... Or just, uh, I have a lot of movies, so I don't keep them at home. I keep them in storage. I use this thing here. It's 48 movies, so I have enough TV shows, uh, movies, cartoons in here. Just enough to get by, and then when I want to switch them up, I just go to the storage unit and make the switch. So there's lots of room. I like where the power is. It's out of the way. I'm not going to step on it. Um, I can put my phone in here and charge it, and from here it's a short distance. Um, easy access, it's out of the way from the door. So when it closes, let's close the door. Try that again. Here's the door, it's closing. Just enough room. Right in here. There's a, a gap right there. About that much. So it works out nicely. And again with my bed though, because I made the changes to lower everything, uh, the bed is higher over here. Which is fine because when I'm sleeping at home, I'm, my head's always up. 
because I snore and my wife likes to keep me up higher. So I've gotten used to sleeping up a little bit. It doesn't hurt. It's fine. But it works for me. One thing I've learned about online, uh, online on uh, YouTube with other campers, uh, people use a lot of blankets in the wintertime. They jack up the heat in their cars, they drive around, and they keep it on until they uh, cover up all the windows. And then they have tons of blankets and whatnot, and they're good, unless they have to get up and turn the heat on again for a little bit. Uh, so that's not a bad idea. Of course, you wear warm clothes, which is always good. Uh, I would probably consider using a minus 40 sleeping bag with a lot of blankets or a heated blanket. But uh, this is my setup, and of course, I think next week I just might turn it into my ranger room. Hockey's coming back soon, so I want to get ready for hockey season. So it'll be nice and comfy for comfy for hockey season. So we'll see what happens. This is my setup: lots of space, lots of room, lots of headroom. I just tilt that so yeah I've got lots I'm just touching the roof right now but I'm um, sitting on the pillow and uh, to show you if I want I'll take this and let's go back around there sit there's my seat cushion there's my pillow for my back I can sit and relax and I have all my stuff it does get a little annoying sometimes when I got all my stuff right in here and along the doorway and of course I have my garbage can in there I have a work bag in here jacket for a small area, the Ford Explorer, compared to the uh, Toyota RAV4, I do have a lot more room, so I'm quite happy with the Ford Explorer, but we'll see in the, the four to five years that I have on it, and if I really like it, I will continue with the Explorer, so I'm trying not to damage the vehicle at all by putting stuff up or anything like that, so that's on a sticky over there, that black little hook. And these are just hooked on the edge. Oh, and of course, my towel to wash up. Which I normally hang up right there, out of the way. And my light, as you noticed, it works really well. And I got my stuffed animals there. That's my little girl on top, my little piggy. So it's all good, lots of room. Washroom space with the seat up, push back, push forward, tons of space. So thanks for watching. I uh, hope you learned something from this. Uh, you know, you got lots of storage space in here. Um, I know I sure do. I've got, you know, space in behind the seats, space in behind these seats, and lots of headroom in here. Comfortable enough to get at my stuff. You know, DVDs, whatever I need to do. As I said, that's my safe spot for my DVD player so it doesn't get damaged when I'm traveling. Or when we're traveling, that's where I keep it. Unless it goes in the camper. So that's it. Anyway, thank you. Take care.